What's up, y'all? And welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Hope you're having an amazing Easter Sunday so far. This Easter, we're going to be hanging out with Tommy Emmanuel doing his live version of Amazing Grace. Thought it would only be fitting for this Resurrection Sunday. I know it's going to be good. I've never actually heard his version of Amazing Grace before, but I know Tommy Emmanuel, the man, the myth, the legend. I know he's going to put on an amazing performance of this classic hymn that means so much to believers across the world, especially on this Easter Sunday. But before we get into it, a few ways you guys can continue to support the channel. You can head on over to Patreon and become a member there. If that doesn't work for you right here on YouTube, you can become a channel member as well. Both of those are going to get you access to all sorts of exclusive perks, features, and priority requests. And then as always, with a one-time donation through Buy Me A Coffee, you can get access to a priority request that either Stephen or I will react to right here on the channel. Never expected but always appreciated. Let's not delay it any longer. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, here we go. Tommy Emmanuel taking us to church with his version of Amazing Grace on acoustic guitar. Let's see what it's all about. Oh, he's too low. So that was just beautiful, the way he arranged that, the way he performed it. Um, all of those passing chords, um, just they just add so much. I mean, they're all underlying. Like the chord progression to Amazing Grace is extremely simple, but he adds in all these passing chords. It just adds so much dimension to the song. Um, and really reflects the, the melody as well. Um, it just kind of walks you through the whole thing and makes it um, makes it possible on a guitar where you hear it. You're like, well, oh, yeah, that's that's amazing grace. And it's so cool, man. You know, even just hearing it on guitar, I mean, the words, um, the words of this song are just, you know, going through my mind. Um, and, you know, it's, it, it's important to me all the time. I mean, being a believer is an important part of my life, but especially as, you know, we're here on Easter Sunday, um, you know, it just makes you all the more grateful. And, uh, you know, just hearing those words, just, you know, sometimes it just hits different, even when you've heard the song a thousand times. Um, and I've grown up my entire life singing this song in church, playing it, you know, a million times. Uh, but it's never really lost. It's uh, it's kind of wonder, you know, and just my awe of, you know, everything that the song represents and it's about. Um, so I, I love hearing just this new I guess it's not new. I guess this video is old, but for me, it's new because I've never heard it. So just a new, fresh take on it, and he's absolutely crushing it. What a phen what a phenomenal guitar player, man! He's ah, he's so good. I love that little smack. Ooh. 
How does he do it, man? just a master he he's a he's a storyteller on guitar like he is he is speaking through his instrument through those dynamic shifts right there like you just heard i mean he's like tremolo picking which would normally be associated with like single notes and he's doing like like you hear a lot of blues players doing what he just did uh, like chordal tremolo picking i guess is what we would call it um but he's he's doing that and it's so consistent like his right hand technique it's so locked in it's so good that he's he's picking you know a mile a minute uh, or a hundred miles a second really more maybe more accurate um and it, but it's so clean and it's so consistent um it's just it's just right there it's not all over the place he's just locked in his technique is that good um and then he just drops right into this like huge dynamic shift down into this real soft, uh, more intimate, emotional kind of, uh, or, you know, low emotion kind of moment there. You know, he had me hyped up there for a second and he just brought, brought me right back down. Um, but he's just, he's just incredible, man. Like it's not just the technical, you know, guitar finger flying wizardry stuff. Like he's, he's just a musician and he knows how to write. He knows how to arrange. And like I said, he, he's literally like a storyteller on the guitar. I'm going to roll it back so we can hear that. Uh, we can hear kind of that dynamic shift in context. So I'm going to walk back that section before uh, before we move on. There were so many cool things that he did. So he did, you know, the one thing where you kind of push the body of the guitar in the opposite direction that you're pushing the neck and it creates that pitch shift on the chord that he did there. Um, and then he did one of my favorite things. The first time I think I ever heard it, uh, the harp guitar style technique. Uh, I think that was the first time that, I ever heard it, I think really was Eric Johnson that did it. Um, but he, he does it and it's really widely known from when Tommy Emmanuel did it at the beginning of his arrangement of somewhere over the rainbow. Um, and so that's where I, you know, I saw like Eric Johnson do it and I'm like, wow, that's really cool. Then I saw Tommy Emmanuel do that and I'm like, wow, you can do that on a guitar. Um, and so you're picking, false harmonics, um, at different intervals. Um, but you're also, um, so you're using your pointer finger and your thumb to do that, but you're also picking high notes as well up on like your GB and E strings. Um, and, and you create a sound that's like a harp. Um, and it's so cool. I love it. I'm terrible at it. I could do the false harmonic thing at different intervals. Um, integrating the other stuff into the harp style guitar is extremely difficult. Um, at least the, uh, I've found it to be extremely difficult. Um, so like I can do it a little bit, but I can't do it like that. Um, but it's, it's such a cool technique. And so he just, you know, after putting on this crazy performance, he just sends us off with a couple of super cool techniques. So I just wanted to point those out and I personally want to hear him again. Most replayed every time. <laughs> oh man. All right. Let's go right here. I think this is back far enough where we can see it either way. It's all worth watching. Ah, 
Ah, there it is. Love how he walks that chromatically down there. Ooh, that one note in there. <laughs> oh, man. Whew, that was, that was moving, man. Like I said earlier, I've heard that song a million times. I've played it with a million different worship teams and churches, but I ain't never heard it like it. Like, whew. man, he is out of this world. I knew he was going to take us to church, but I didn't quite know it was going to be all of that. Every time that man picks up the guitar, it's it's inspirational. Um, he He's just incredible. Um, just, a he's a musician, you know, there's a, there is a difference in like, oh, they're a great guitar player, but like Tommy Emmanuel is a musician through and through amazing arranger, amazing player. He's got musical vocabulary. He's got musical sense. Um, you know, he, he just, he, he's the total package, man. Like, and that's why he's one of my favorites. He's just, he's just incredible. You know, I mean, there was, so many techniques that we unpacked during the video, you know, and this one was a little tough for me because this song, you know, this song means a lot to me. Um, and so, you know, I'm sitting here trying to just soak in the song and let the words go through my mind and what it means while at the same time remembering that I'm making a video for YouTube and I got to, you know, do what I got to do. Um, but yeah, it was just uh, so many cool things, man. I love the harp guitar stuff that we went back to towards the end there. Um, and he just, man, he just never, he never disappoints. He can't miss as far as I'm concerned. He just never ceases to amaze. I, I love listening to him play. I could sit around and just listen to him all day, every day, just, and never get tired of it. Always finding something new to appreciate about it. Cause he's just that good. And he just seems like a genuinely good, humble guy that loves music, which just makes it all the more enjoyable for me. All right, y'all, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time we drop new content. Appreciate you guys. Hope you have an amazing Sunday. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.